Okay, here is a quick and dirty example of how I set up a trade. I am going to open a blank chart from 2002 until today. We can see that the euro strengthened on the left hand side and peaked in 07 and declined since then. So each of these candles is a month of trading. We can see euro dollar monthly in the top left. So if we zoom in here, we want to zoom in to the right hand side. Okay, so we want to kind of focus our energy and our trading into what's happened in the last six months where the euro has bottomed. So we can see here generally without adding any indicators that we see that the euro was bullish and bearish while retracing and is becoming bullish. I can code an indicator that's proprietary and add a lot of information on just how it works which is going to shed a lot better light how some massive profits can be made. All right, this is an expert advisor, an EA. I'm going to click and I'm going to drag it and let go and it's going to be added to the chart. This is an example. So what we have here are zones and each zone each colored block shows where the entry is going to be and also the stop loss what's below on the bottom chart is what's called an RSX and this is proprietary so an example here is when it is oversold we want to have our bias that the market is going to turn. What helps us is that I can now set it up to trade lower time frames. So this is a monthly chart and I can go down and change these time frames to a weekly, to a daily, four hour, one hour, 30, and so forth. So here's an example. Looking at the dates here, March 12th on the far left, current time to the far right, we see here that the market bottomed. We also know that based off of the monthly. We know that in the back of our mind, we wanna be looking for areas to get long. We don't just gauge what the market's going to do just off of this indicator. We can see two areas where it's below the 30 and also a third area here. This is where I like to get into price action to when it printed based off of this far left signal and then became bullish and retraced to the top of the zone, which is our entry. Our stop loss is actually the bottom of the zone. So this is showing so what we have here is the bullish signal. We don't just buy on the signal. We always let it retrace. We would have bought April 9th of this year, stop loss, if we look at the value in the middle, it's 153 points. We exit where we see bearish price action. We have yet to see that. This is still moving up. We would be profit if we look at where current market is, it's right 
two candles above the crosshairs where the horizontal gray line is. We can look and see the market price at 146.21. We would be up 849 points. So if we go back, we see a risk of 140 to make 840. So give or take eight times our risk. We can also move our stops. We can protect this trade as quickly as we'd like. Let's improve this trade even more to where we can make more than eight times our money. Let's get in and look at lower time frame around this date and see how we could maybe stretch the target and the exit. So here I've made crosshairs of the larger time frame. So disregard the red lines and focus here on the zone still. So we are only looking for buys. We see here price action. The buy could have been here at the top of this zone, stop loss below. Uh, the larger outlined zones are larger time frames, okay? So they will always be on the chart. They're color coordinated for different reasons, okay? Um, and I can go into this in a different meeting. What we want to do though is we had actually signaled this uh, on our larger time frame. So what we can show here is we know that this red area is where the larger time frame price is. Okay, So we want to get down and we know that our stop from that previous trade was the outlined yellow box. Okay, So let's just call that area the stop loss. Okay. But what we can do is get down to this daily time frame. And we can see here to the far left on just this daily time frame that, you know, we know that on the larger time frame that this is oversold. And we want to be looking for just longs, okay? So we know that we get a signal here. And it comes out of the yellow larger time frame zone and retraces down and that would be our entry. So we can look at this and this. Okay, I'll zoom in. So what we have here our entry would be right here which would be Our entry would be March 8th. So we know that on March 3rd that we have our signal criteria, but we want to even lessen our risk. So the market comes down one day, our second day, third day. And on March 8th, we get long Euro dollar with a stop. We get long Euro dollar at 105.43. Our stop would be 70 points just below as it goes up to current time, trailing our stop, moving our stop up. We risked 70. We would be up 922 points, the value in the middle. We can also go even lower. If we know that March third, excuse me, if we know that March 8th is our level that we want to be getting long, let's do it even better. Let's get down to the four hour time frame. Okay, so we have this marked off. Here's March 8th on the four hour. Okay, it looks a little different. But based off this example, we could possibly 
get long on any of these signals within this time frame. We see a, we're below here on a 30. We're below RSX. And we see a bullish signal and also a retracement. So this here is such a good trade. And if our stop is just below this price action, we can trail this. We're going to hold it for a while, but we know that our risk is next to nothing with zero drawdown. We also see here another zone. This is another opportunity. So we see the market come out of the zone. We don't want to buy up here because look what it does after. It goes against us. So we wait for a, let's call it a 80% retracement. We also wait for confirmation with the RSX, but we also get candlestick confirmation. And we get it here on the left-hand side of this zone, and it retraces just after. So it gives us plenty of time. These are four-hour candles. So we had 12 hours of time. If you see here, there's three candles after that initial bullish signal to get into this market. And our stop would be just below the low, and we can see here that the market is still trending up. This is just an example. I just wanted to be a little transparent, show you guys how profits can be made, but you just have to wait for the market to come to you. Uh, I don't like chasing the market, and I'm not willing to have much drawdown. Uh, we can see here some other opportunities, but I like the larger time frame sit on my hands and wait for the A plus setups. Uh, I hope this video helps a little bit though. Email me if you've got any questions and um, I'd love